being a YouTuber, an artist and a bodybuilder, it is rough. Good morning YouTube, it's your boy Musa back with another vlog. Today's a Thursday. I have decided to take a rest day and rest up my wrist. My wrist, man, my wrist is hurting, man. It's hurting, man. My wrist is not, it's, it's one of those ones, it's hurting enough for me to say, you know what, let's take a few days off, let it recover, rather than me going into the gym being stubborn, which I am, I'm very stubborn, and saying, let me just fight through it. No, no, because it can get even worse especially when you're training things like because i use a lot of dumbbell weights i'm sure you guys notice dumbbells barbells i'm that kind of trainer that's, that's what i like i use machines whenever i can but i'm mainly on like dumbbells barbells cables that's like my thing and that's a lot of gripping especially with dumbbells and i lose maybe i need to get some wrist straps knee sleeves all of that kind of shizness which i never use probably gonna wait for my boy lee to come and then purchase those because he knows more about those stuff than me because me i'll just tap in <laughs> wrist strap and the first one that pops up i'll just click it and back yeah man simple you know i slept very well slept like nine hours which was well, I needed it. The only thing I'm probably going to do is go to the gym, do cardio later on. Um, I was just thinking right now, I was like, you know what, well, working an office job and being a so-called bodybuilder, which is what I do. I'm not just a weightlifter. I, I'm, I'm trying to sculpt my body and trying to build it and trying to get this ideal physique that I have for myself. So I am a bodybuilder. I'm just not professional. You know what I want? So having an office job and being a bodybuilder, those two things just don't connect in no way or form. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from you need, when you bodybuild, you need your body to rest and recover. That's nice, you're sitting down, you're chilling, you're doing your work. But other than that, it just doesn't connect because if you're like me, let's say, I'm just taking my life, for example, that's the only one I can really explain to you. I work for myself, I work from home, and a lot of the stuff that I do take hours on end. Drawing, there's no time limit. It can take anywhere from, let's say, three hours to about two weeks to complete a project, yeah? Reaction videos, it depends on the video that I'm watching, how long it is how into it I'm, I'm movies they can range from what two hours to three or four hours k dramas series in general they're like an hour episodes each and obviously now that i'm doing all of that and it all takes time and i'm trying to build it and trying to do all this stuff whereas you have bodybuilding which also takes up a lot of your time because there's so many things you have to focus on do you know what I mean? It's not like you just go in the gym and lift weights and come home and you're done. I wish it was that simple, but it really isn't that simple. It's how much sleep are you getting? How many steps are you getting? What's the what's the movement like in the day? How intense was your workout? What's your what's your food looking like? You know what I mean? Are you tracking the there's there's so many different factors. Ah and right now those two to juggle to juggle those two, being a YouTuber, an artist and a bodybuilder, it is rough. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm starting a few. I'm just like, yo, I'm in the gym like three hours a day. Some of you probably thinking, Musi, you don't need to be in the gym three hours a day. Yes and no. Right now, if I'm trying to get to this goal that I'm going for, I need to be. Because outside of the gym, my movement is zero. Like today, watch. <laughs> Since I said I'm taking a rest day, I'm gonna go do cardio. But outside of the cardio, where am I going? Where am I moving to? I'm sitting in the seat. I'm drawing. And that's what that's what I'm doing. How many calories you think I'm burning? Please. <laughs> and if I'm consuming food, as soon as I consume food, I'm in a surplus. Man ain't even a deficit no more. As soon as I inhale food, surplus. <laughs> oh, it's rough. But come next week, I'm changing the program again. It's been about what seven weeks. I'm going down. I'm going down. I need to give this stuff a bit more attention, man. I love bodybuilding. I love training. I love it to, to bits. But those hours that I'm piling up right now in the gym, a lot of those hours need to go to my work. And the thing is, it's three hours in the gym, but you have to think. You have to get your mind right before you go to the gym. So it's it's way it's way more than three hours. You get your mind right. Actually, have to go to the gym, get warmed up and everything. Bum, 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 bum. Once you do cardio, you gotta come home, shower, and all that kind of stuff. Then you gotta eat your food. Da 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 da. So oh, it's a whole it's a whole lot of hours, man. It's, 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 a, it's a whole lot of hours, and that's not even adding my hour walk at night. So that's about. Four, four and a bit hours I'm spending a day on my body building. I ain't got that time. I was speaking to someone yesterday and he said it and I was like, you know what? He was talking about himself in it and I was like, hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Cause he was like, I can see you, your, your goal is to obviously build a physique and everything. And he was like, me, I don't have, to, I don't have time. I got, I got too many priorities to be in the gym. 
and tracking food and doing all that stuff. And I was like, you know what, that's fair. Everyone's got, you have your priorities, right? Things that you are chasing after. And if just building a bodybuilding physique is not gonna cut it for some people, some people's like, nah, man, I just need to make hella money, right? <laughs> I need to focus on my business, I need to make money. That's way more important than building my physique, which is which is fair. And it made a lot of sense. For me, I was like, you know what? This, even um, bodybuilding is part of my work. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, there's other works that are way, way, way more important than my overall bodybuilding, my overall physique, way more important. So right now it's like, you know what I mean? He put a foot in my head, I was like, hmm, I like this shit, <laughs> but do, do I do I love it? Love it more than making mullah, <laughs> you know? Then again, I was like, I will never quit bodybuilding. That's no way. There's no way I would ever stop lifting weights. The, the only thing that will probably happen is frequency. I'll put the lowest I will go is five days a week. I ain't never doing no four days, three days a week. I ain't doing that shit. But what, what do I look like to you? <laughs> Some people are watching like, Musa, really? <laughs> three days a week, that sounds fine. I can't. I need to be in the gym all day, every day. A lot of shit. But yeah, I'm definitely changing my program to five days a week, two two a days. I don't know if I if I really need. It's still going to be two a days because I'm going to have to separate cardio. So I won't be doing two workouts a day, or will I? It depends what kind of program I'm gonna make for them. I'm gonna think about it. Try and make it juicy, you know, five days a week. Um, so I can have more time to focus on my actual work and projects and stuff like that. Cause again, we've only got what, six months left of the year. And there's certain things I wanna complete before then. And they take up a lot, a lot of hours, a lot of planning, a lot of this, that, that, this. I can't be spending all my time in the gym or in my bed. You know what I mean? Or just having to sleep eight, nine hours and all that stuff in order to get the perfect recovery and whatnot. Uh, everything just counterattacks each other, innit? Whereas if you're working for yourself and whatnot, you need to be sleeping maximum six hours, you know? Or if you're sleeping your eight hours the whole time you're awake, you need to be putting it into your grind, you know? Oh, it's just, it's just so many thoughts going in my head right now, but the one that's solid is just do the work. That's 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 the number one thought. You just do the work. You know what I mean? Doing the work is better than doing nothing. I could just sit here and just think all day. That's a waste of time. But if you think and apply action, then you, you are okay. You know what I mean? It, it could be a lot worse. But this is also the good thing about talking to people, you know? Sometimes you could be in such a zone, just going with it, thinking, yeah, this is it. I'm, I'm heading in the right direction. You probably are. You're doing something. But then someone just plugs a little thought in your head saying, hmm, you know what, maybe it's not that deep. You're trying to attain this, why? Because you obviously want to see how far you want to push yourself. But is right now the right time to be doing it? I think that's what went in my head. Is right now the right time for me to be pushing myself to try and attain a certain physique that I've been having in my head and I know deep down I can acquire? I think that is what's playing with my mind. I think that's what's like, you know what, but is it right now? It's now. Right now, when you're like, I think I'm like four years in, being self-employed is right now <laughs> the right time to be doing this. That's the sticky question. That's the sticky question. Because right now, all my other things are growing at a very speedy rate. And that's that's the time when I know, I know, because I've been doing YouTube for since 2013. So I know when things are going like that, that's the time to apply more pressure, AKA give it more of your time. Don't cut down the time to give it to something else which is pretty much what I've had to do with this cut. I've cut down my, the amount of uploads and stuff that I do and given it to my daily vlogging and my fitness, you know? That's why I keep saying I'm going to end the daily vlogging very soon because those, like right now, I've got to edit yesterday's vlog. That's gonna take me another two, three hours of my day, which I could have done for reactions or drawings, you feel what I'm saying? So that's probably gonna have to take a back seat. I'm gonna have to make that decision quick. Mm-mm-mm, this car. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. But yeah, guys, I don't think I'm gonna record for anything else for today. I feel like this is this is enough. It's just a quick video just to talk to you guys about what I think office job and bodybuilding contradict each other and thought process and things that's going through my head. Let me know in the comments section. Let's, let's talk it out. But yeah, guys, I will catch you lot tomorrow. See what's going on tomorrow. Hopefully the hand will be feeling a little bit better. But as for today, I'm just gonna sit here, grind out these drawings, recording, and then cardio later on. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.